One thing I have learned in my life is that we are fully capable of changing the way we look at the world and in turn changing our definition of stress and fear. Being able to abandon them both in every situation we are given. I have also learned firsthand that we are fully capable and in complete control of what we bring in our lives and what direction our lives take. Yes, this is true. I will repeat what I just said. We are fully capable and in complete control of what we bring into our lives and what direction our lives take. An excerpt from My Italian Therapy, Chapter 13, A New Beginning. Written and narrated by Gina Fiore. Available on Amazon Audible. Astuni is one of the most stunning cities in southern Italy, famous for the dazzling effect of its whitewashed houses. It is a genuine and charming example of Mediterranean architecture. The city of Astuni is a series of levels, staircases, small roads, alleys, arches, and hints of the Middle Ages are at hand in every corner. And in every corner, there's a view of the sea. In the portal of a palace, is the walls of the convent, or the front of the church. The brightness of its whitewashed houses set against the pink-tinged brown of its principal monument makes the town stand out in the green of the surrounding area. In this happy combination of natural and man-made that has made Astuni one of the most attractive cities in the region, an essential part of any tour of Italy. The history is vast and wide and goes back to the Neolithic period or the Stone Age, where they found remnants of Neanderthal humans in caves.
No? Si, sí, si, sí. ok, grazie. Buongiorno. So they're picking the olives, obviously. And uh, the machine shakes the tree. It grabs the tree, shakes the tree, and then I bet you it's heavy. So they put the olives in the back of the, well, this is different than the other one next to it because these guys are doing it by hand and uh, so these guys are doing it kind of by hand and the other guy was doing it with the machine. See? trees. So then, I don't know where the olives go. I imagine in those buckets. And then they have to hoist them into the back of the tree. And it's a different machine that's going to go ahead and separate these olives than the other one down the way because this is more labor intensive. The other one had a machine. Oh, it's January in Puglia, and they're still collecting olives. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ciao. Si, ciao. Grazie mille. Prego. Si. Non è italiano. Si e no. <laughs> Those olives are heavy. So the... The olives, they go in the hey, buckets. Si, sí, si. Sí. That's a uh, mucho trabajo. Si, sí, it's a lot of work. You know. Ah, si, si. Si. Atención, Here's the directions to find this flat. So first I have to come here. And then I have to put the code in the in the box to get the key. And then I gotta go to a different location. So this is my house in Puglia. I bet you it's a UK company. Person sending me like these exorbitant messages in English. It's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then see if I can go back to the address I was before. balcony for the next four days on the beach this is my balcony oh. well I don't get the sunset but I get the sunrise this is the view from my balcony so I'll, I'll catch the sunrise on camera tomorrow my apartment so the kitchen windows face the sea and uh, it's like a whole apartment so it's a whole apartment one bedroom look at that, look at that view of the sea oh yay 
adjusting window. Okay, so then I've got the bedroom with the view of the sea. these out. Okay, there we go. View of the sea. And a terrace view of the sea. <gasps> Four days. I'm going to try and do our Barabella and um, Polignano in one day so I can just stay here and catch up before I go to Matera. And then the bathroom's great. A little sink, uh, day, toilet, shower. Yeah, I've got my groceries. And um, I guess where I'm going to be. <laughs> by the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. Monopoly, Italy. Ciao. Oh my, I can't wait until morning. <gasps> this is so cool. Look, there's like a little beach over there. And um, the water is just crystal clear. Look at that. It's like a, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. This is amazing. Monopoly, Italy. Wow, perfect place to rest for four days. Look at that. There's a little beach below my apartment. And the apartment is right here. That's my apartment. How cool is that? And I have the upstairs. And there's all kinds of fun stuff in these shallow pools. It just so reminds me of Alaska and Seward where I had my beach place, like a block from the beach and at low tide. There were all these cool little pools and you find sand dollars and things. So I just have to be careful not to fall and uh, it's so cool. Here, let's look over here. And rocks and stones and shells and plants and fun things. You just never know what you're going to And obviously there's beaches all over the place. <clears throat> Can't wait till tomorrow sunrise. See you then. So tonight we're just having some veggies and a piece of pork. Uh, I did a grocery run and just enjoying the apartment with a view. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> too hot to sit on the veranda already. What is it, January 4th? At 10.30 in the morning. 
stifling. Like I'm like drenched in sweat just from sitting eating my breakfast. The breeze coming through this window is fabulous. I can't imagine what summer's like. It must be so hot here. I guess that's why all the houses are white. <laughs> Clue. I kind of knew that. That's why I wasn't coming here because I'm looking to move and I knew Puglia was too hot for me. But since I had to be, well, had to be, since I was gone so long, I decided to come over here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It would be a fabulous place to be in the winter time, but I couldn't handle the heat. If it's hot for me now, I would just die here. Monopoly's name bellies its Greek origins, Monos Polis, meaning unique city. Today's Monopoly is unique in that, unlike many of the other coastal towns in this area that are laid back beach resorts, it is a bustling city with a commercial center. The new town sprawls out along the coast, but Monopoly retains its charming historic center and fishing tradition. Founded by the Greeks, taken over by the Romans, and beset by various invaders, Monopoly was a thriving port town in Norman. In the 1400s, it was annexed by the Republic of Venice and enjoyed a century-long affluence that put it in a league with other maritime powers like Amalfi, Genoa, and Venice. Its position in Puglia, between the seas, made it strategic and prosperous. The Port of Vecchio still harbors fishing boats as it has done for hundreds of years. Visit the beaches and inlets where the colorful crafts are docked and where fishermen still mend their nets. The old town is dominated by its still solid castle built in 1552. Castella Carlo V was erected by the Spanish rulers of the time as a stronghold on the sea. The octagonal fortress was isolated when it was built, then the town crowded in around it. The other distinctly visible monument is the cathedral and its towering belfry that rises high above the town. The Baroque Romanesque church was built in 1693 and has frescoes depicting the four gospel-writing apostles. The decorative, light-filled interior is capped by a delicate-looking dome. The false front protective wall was added to the right of the church to buffer the winds that descend on the facade. The cathedral is dedicated to the Madonna della Medea, who arrived here in December 15, 1117. According to legend, on a raft bearing 31 wooden beams for the roof supports of the basilica. The event is recreated annually during the patron saint celebrations. Just south of town is the Abbey Castle of Santo Stefano, built in 1086 and placed on a point as a coastal defensive post. In the 13th century, the Knights of Malta took it over and turned it into an abbey and hospital as a stopover point for pilgrims and crusaders along the route to and from the Holy Land. The city's coat of arms was bestowed by Frederick II and bears three white roses on a red background, a visible reminder of the town's long and storied past. The area is beautiful with clear blue seas and miles of olives, 
orchards, and almonds spreading out across the countryside. Monopoly is near Polignano, Almar, Ostuni, and Alborobello, and is equidistant from Bari and Brindisi, both just 45 minutes away, just inland.